Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today I'm going to make for you a recipe that's taken the world by storm. It's super crispy, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's savory, it's sticky, and ridiculously delicious. Get ready for my take on Korean fried chicken wings. Let's go. Now, why did I want to make these Korean fried chicken wings for you? I mean, everybody, everybody is making, is tasting, is eating these chicken wings. They're everywhere. Now, needless to say, the Koreans have known and loved this recipe for years. It's just taken the rest of us a little bit of time to catch up. So I want to introduce you to the ingredient that you're going to definitely need and will be the least familiar probably for this particular recipe. And this is in the Korean pantry. It's a staple. It's called kojujang, and that just means in Korean chili paste or chili sauce. What's so unique about this sauce and why everybody goes gaga is it's this unique combination of chilies, lots of them, and then this element of fermentation. So fermentation gives you that umami. So it's soybeans and sticky rice. So you have that element that you would get from miso, saltiness and umami, that fermentation. But once you add the chili and then a little bit of sweetness, it's in a whole different league. Okay, let's have a taste. And when I say let's, I mean me, which is gonna be you, because you're gonna take my word for it. Look at the color of this. It's this brick, super rich color and super, super thick. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty spicy actually. Wow. I can see how you can get completely addicted to this. First comes the heat and it's a fair bit of heat, but actually it dissipates. So it's not going to stick with you too long, but then right away I get this umami, this fermented flavor and it's rich and you can just imagine what it's going to be like on this fried chicken. It's crazy good. What I want to do now is create that roundness that's going to go with this kojujang. So step one is going to be to get a little pan going on medium heat, not high, and I'm going to introduce some toasted sesame oil to this pan. This oil is super delicate. I don't want it to get very hot. And what I'm going to add, I also don't want to get very hot. So freshly grated ginger, going to go in. And I really want to add some garlic. Here's the thing about the garlic. I don't want to add it raw because it's really going to have that very, very intense flavor. So I'm just going to cook it out for literally a minute here on low heat with the ginger and the sesame oil. Again, it's all about those layers and the nuances. And pretty soon we're going to have some unforgettable chicken wings. Trust me on that one. Smelling the aroma, the sound. Now, just from the residual heat of this pan, I'm gonna let that sit, and that's gonna be added to the rest of my sauce. So to get those flavors to really meld and to really build, build, build on that beautiful kojujang, here's the other things that I'm gonna add. These are all familiar, so ketchup. Gonna add sweetness and definitely some viscosity to it. Kojujang going in. Don't worry about the quantities here. The full recipe is gonna be below the description, okay, of the video. Look at the color on that. Always want a little bit of acidity. I'm going with rice wine vinegar, apple cider, also good. A little soy sauce is gonna really give us depth, build that umami, and definitely lots of saltiness. I'm gonna stir it all up.
The aromas I'm getting right from up here, ridiculous already. Last thing I wanna do is now add that combination of ginger, garlic, and the toasted sesame oil. Two words, intense, amazing. I can't wait for this to just enrobe each of those beautiful crispy fried chicken wings. Now to fry the chicken wings. I wanna get my oil hot and my temperature is 325. So while the oil gets hot, I'm gonna prepare the chicken, the chicken wings. Now you'll notice that I don't have a deep fryer. I don't deep fry often, so I'm really just making a makeshift fryer here. I wanna pick a vessel that's not too big so I don't have to fill it with huge amounts of oil because we do want the chicken to be covered. I always have a thermometer so I know the temperature of my oil. This is a candy thermometer. And here's my trick. I'm gonna do this while we get the chicken wings covered. So my trick is I'm only gonna fry this once. Many, many people say you wanna double fry it. You really don't need to double fry it. For me, it's about getting the best results out of the least amount of hassle and work. So to me, optimizing the process, that's what we're doing here. So I've got my chicken wings here. I'm just gonna season a little bit, making sure they're padded dry. Not too much salt because remember, the chili paste is fermented and it's salty. And we also have soy, so you really wanna keep an eye on that. My favorite or my selected flour of choice is cornstarch. So here's my trick. I've got egg whites here that I'm gonna whisk and I've got a little cornstarch. So we're gonna double dip in the cornstarch. So step one, just coat them in the cornstarch until they're nicely enrobed. The ideal thing here is to keep your eye on the temperature of your oil. So twice in the cornstarch and in between in the egg white, that is gonna save you from having to fry them twice. To me, I really don't see the need to fry them twice. So I wanted to come up with how am I gonna get that crispiness, that super crispy texture that everybody knows and expects and loves from the super crispy Korean chicken wings. Look at these babies. I'm working with half the chicken at a time because that's all that's gonna fit in my makeshift fryer here. Just a little tip. Cooking really is about technique, it's about chemistry, it's about creativity, all of those things. But when you have the chemistry right, then you can take some liberties. So we have 325. I'm gonna fry half of these at once because I don't wanna crowd my pan. Making sure to put it in away from me. Here we go. What's happening now, 325 the oil is, so for this first six minutes, I'm cooking them or frying them at a little bit of a lower temperature. Just enough to cook them, but not too low to make them soggy. Once we hit that six minute mark, then I'm gonna crank up the heat and I wanna get that oil up to about 360 to 365. And what that's gonna do is begin to even crisp them even more once they're cooked. So there's your kind of double fry without pulling them out and pulling them back in where you're gonna actually absorb way, way too much oils. Look at these, they're super golden. They look so crispy. And I wanna just caution again, I'm doing this makeshift for the purposes of video. You wanna make sure you do it on your stovetop. Give yourself a lot of space 
You gotta be really careful if you don't have a fryer to have probably a pot that's twice as big as this. Can you hear how crispy they are? Crazy how crispy they are. So now, I put them in that paper towel because I just want them to soak a little bit of that, uh, get rid of some of that oil, and also not put them right into the sauce. I want to keep them as crispy as possible, okay? Now guess what? They're going in the sauce. Ready? Who wants in? Who wants in? I can smell them from here. Last little touch is just that toasted sesame sprinkled on top. Really gonna add even a little extra crunch and a little nuttiness. Notice how I have the perfect shirt to taste this because when it slops all over me, you won't be able to see it. Who wants to taste it? Look at that. You're gonna hear it right now how crunchy it is. I know finger licking good is already taken, but man, it's just the perfect Spicy, sweet, salty, sticky. Mmm. Perfect amount of heat for me too. And juicy inside. That's the key. You want to cook them just right on the money. Look at that. Juicy, crunchy, everything you want in a chicken wing, if you ask me. And I think you're asking me. Thank you for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. I hope you enjoyed this amazing, crunchy Korean chicken wing. Let me know what's happening in your kitchen. Try these. You really want to try them. See ya. Get lots of napkins. You're going to need them. <laughs>